Welcome. Your Canon Image Prograph TX Series multifunction printer is purpose designed to scan, copy, and print a range of large documents from a user friendly touchscreen on a Microsoft Windows PC, which is attached to the Image Prograph. SmartWorks MFP is the embedded application that makes it easy to copy, scan, print, edit, and archive documents to popular file types. SmartWorks MFP uses a scan once, preview, then edit workflow. This means the image is scanned once, edited on the large touchscreen, then printed or saved only when you are happy with the image. This saves time as well as paper and ink. It protects delicate documents from being scanned multiple times while trying different settings. You can save image files to computer or network locations, cloud services, and of course, USB memory media. In this short video, we will show you how to scan the most challenging of documents, then make image files and prints that are sometimes better than their original documents. Before getting started, it's advisable to download the user manual from the Canon website. The home page shows the main functions displayed on an intuitive revolving carousel. The function at the front is the active function. The active function right now is copy. Touch or swipe on any function icon to rotate the carousel. This map has many intricate lines and text. To make an excellent copy fast, with your finger, rotate the carousel to the copy function. If you set preview to off, printing will commence right after the map has been scanned. Tap on preset. This brings you to the presets menu. For this original map, the color graphics preset will give you the best result. Then tap on quality. From the quality menu, select standard, but draft and high may also meet your needs. Place your document face up and align to the center of the scanner. Gently slide the document into the scanner. The scanner will take hold of the document prior to scanning. When the scanner has detected the original, this diamond-shaped button will turn green. Press the green button. You can see that we have made a high-quality copy very quickly. This popular map needs to be scanned and saved to a network location and a cloud service. Rotate the carousel to the scan function. If you set preview to on, you can make changes to the image after the scan stage and before the file is saved. Tap on preset. This brings you to the presets menu. For this document, color graphics would be the most appropriate preset. Then tap on quality. From the quality menu, select standard. Then tap on OK. Tap on file type. From the file types menu, tap on multi-page PDF. Tap on More Options. From the Paper Size menu, you can select a wide range of standard sizes, automatic paper size, or the full width of the scanner. To save this file to a folder on your PC or network, tap on the Scan to Folder icon. Then select the Destination folder for your scanned file. Then tap on OK. You can also save the file to a cloud service. Tap on Scan to Cloud to save a copy of your file to the predetermined cloud service. Then tap on this button to go to the next page. You may also add a prefix to the file name. The word scan is the first word in the file name of documents that are being scanned currently. Let's change this. Tap on file name prefix. Tap on the text box. When you tap on the text box, the on-screen keyboard will appear. Delete the existing word, then type in your prefix. Tap on this X symbol on the right-hand side to retract the on-screen keyboard. Then tap Apply. You also have the option to include the date and time of the scan in the file name of your scanned document. This text indicates the network location where your file will be saved to and the file name that will be given to your scanned image file. Place your document face up and aligned to the center of the scanner. Gently slide the document into the scanner. The scanner will take hold of the document prior to scanning. This message here will indicate the width of the document that the scanner has detected. When the scanner is ready, this button will turn from light blue to green. Tap on the green button to start the scan. After the first page has been scanned, the button will turn dark blue. This means that the scanner is waiting for inputs from the operator. The image, in this case, is slightly misaligned. 
Tap on Deskew. A small diamond will appear at the top left of your image. With your finger, drag the diamond from left to right to align with the top edge of your document. When the line is parallel to the top edge of your document, tap on OK. The document should now be correctly aligned. Tap on the blue button. You will be offered the option to scan the next page, rescan the previous page, or finish and save the file. Let's scan the next page. We accidentally scanned this page of the map in portrait orientation. By using the DSKU function, we can easily bring it back to the correct orientation. Drag the first diamond shape to the top right-hand edge of the map. Then drag the second diamond to the top left-hand edge of the map. Then press OK. The second side of the map is now correctly oriented. Press the blue button and select Finish. The two-page map has been saved in PDF format to your desired network location and to a cloud service. This house plan has an unfortunate beverage stain. This is easily corrected in SmartWorks MFP. With Preview set to On, you will be able to fine-tune the results after the scan stage. At the Preset menu, set the preset to Black and White Very Dirty. But Black and White Dirty may also work very well. Set Quality to Standard. Place your document face up and aligned to the center of the scanner. Gently slide the document into the scanner. The scanner will take hold of the document prior to scanning. When the scanner has detected the original, this button will turn green. Tap on the green button to begin the scan. The beverage stain has already been well reduced. This is because of the scanning preset, black and white, very dirty. This image improvement can be further fine-tuned. Tap on Simple Thresholding. A slider will appear. Adjust the position of the slider to give the best result. With this particular document, the simple thresholding value of 71 has given the cleanest background and the clearest fine detail. However, this will vary depending on the nature of the original that you are scanning. Then press the green button to save the image file. This engineering drawing is very dark and unclear. From the presets menu, select black and white, very dirty. Place your document face up and aligned to the center of the scanner. Gently slide the document into the scanner. The scanner will take hold of the document prior to scanning. When the scanner has detected the original, this button will turn green. Tap on the green button. Tap on Adaptive Threshold. Adjust the slider position to give the cleanest background and the clearest detail and text. Adaptive Threshold varies the threshold according to the image, so it works very well with uneven and dirty originals. You can also crop the image to save ink and paper. Tap on Crop. Then move the guides at the top and the bottom, then left and right, then press the green button to save the image file. This newspaper has turned grey with age. This is easily corrected in SmartWorks MFP. Set Preview to On. At the Preset menu, set the preset to Grey Graphics. But Grey Lines or Grey Photo may also work well. Then set Quality to Standard. Place your document face up and aligned to the center of the scanner. Gently slide the document into the scanner. The scanner will take hold of the document prior to scanning. When the scanner has detected the original, this button will turn green. Tap on the green button to begin the scan. To zoom in on the fine detail of the newspaper, tap this magnifying glass symbol. Tap on black and white points. Two sliders will appear. Adjust the white point slider to give a clean paper white background. Adjust the black point to give a deep and correct black in the image. Then press the green button to save the image file. All done! To find more helpful resources for your Canon large format printer, browse our Canon Business AU YouTube channel and visit us at canon.com.au.